Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today, for your patron cast of the week of November the 15th, you're getting a very special replay. It is Noni versus Artosis on Python 1.3. In Control uploaded it to Team Liquid back in 2008 or so, and said this is an epic game. That's it. So, top right, we've got our Terran player. He is blue. It is... Arthosis. And in the bottom side, it's our American Protoss. It is a Noni. Uh, Noni, a fan favorite. Arthosis, a fan favorite. We've got G5 spectating. And apparently, there are only four observer slots when this game was played. So, hey, we've got ourselves a little SCV, SCV fight club here. Oh, man, killed them both at the same time? G5. <laughs> You are an excellent SCV gladiator combat fighter. That was incredible. All right. So a PVT here on Python. It's just a variation of Lost Temple. Boom. Boom. And yeah, you should know it. You should know it if you're a Brutal War fan. But hey, let's check it out anyway. All right, so four, four, four spawning locations, one here, one here, one here, and one here. Short air rush distance between the 12 o'clock and the 3 o'clock. And instead of an island, we have a low ground expansion at the corners. Well, top right and bottom left, but bottom right and top left, it's not an island. You can get here easily, super hard to wall off, as all other expansions other than your natural are... Minerals only expansions. And, uh, yeah. So it's a fun map. I do like this one. We've got Nikki watching. We've got LZ Gamer. Nice green tees here. Redeemer's here, too. Who's media? G5 in the house. Man. Old school names, man. From when Brood War was the hottest thing. Ah, <sighs> Super good. Anyway, what are we looking at here? Nothing crazy so far. It's PVT, man. So it's North American shenanigans. Artosis and Noni from 2008. I don't know when this was played. I mean, there's casters here. So this must have been as part of some tournament previously. But I don't know which one it was. I don't want to go through all of Noni and Artosis' entire history of what tournaments they played in to figure out what it is. But, I mean, if you know what it is, let me know. And I'll pin your comment. How about that? That seems like a fair trade. You give me information. I pin your comment at the top. Everybody wins. Factory coming in, probe harassing the SCV, building the factory, Noni being really annoying, trying to tilt Artosis, which, um, not hard to do. I mean, Artosis is known for his rage. Now, the question everybody should be asking is, how much of Artosis's rage is legitimate? When he's streaming for y'all, and he's just absolutely going after the player, right? Telling them they're lucky, telling them they suck, telling them they're the worst Brood War player in the world, etc., etc. Is that real, or is he amping it up because he knows that his Twitch viewers love that stuff? Don't know. I don't know if we'll ever know. Ooh, killed the S oh, killed the SCV building the factory and then died himself. That probe is a hero. A hero of ire for sure. Shakuris or whoever they're from now. Anyway, factory does finish. It's still laid. It's a little bit late, but no big deal. Except, you know, there's a Dragoon on the way. And the faster you can get a tank air or some spider mines out against a Dragoon, the better it's going to be for you. There is a pretty quick robotics facility here, too, off of one base. I'm wondering if this is going to be Reaver shenanigans. Because, again, another way to tilt Artosis. Reaver shenanigans. Yo. Yeah. So, we'll look. Marines at the top of the ramp say, Nah, not nah, fam. You're not getting up here. Sorry. Except they wouldn't say Femme because they were Marines that were created in 2008, back before that slaying even came about. So, hey, let's noodle that one over. The replays. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, willing to target fire. Can all these Marines die before? Yes. Oh, this is bad. Okay, so three Marines for nothing. Neither of these Dragoons die at all, but they have to bust through the hard wall that's been set up here. So, that'll buy some time for, I don't know what, a tank to come out. There we go. So one tank's coming out, plus these Dragoons are already moderately injured, so they should probably get out of here. They're going to force some SCVs off the line to repair the uh, Supply Depot, too. So annoying, and it's not going to be a support bay. Instead, 
We're just getting an observatory, and he's worried about spider mines. Which, not happening. Siege mode getting researched first. So, warping in an expansion now is Noni. Artosis is building his command center on the high ground. And then your third base on this map, I don't know, where do you want to go as a Protoss? You want to take this minerals only? Do you want to expand over in this area, which you can't see because you like having the Fog of War on? We'll see. I'm curious to see what he does with it. Over here would be interesting too, right? That's not an option if it's Lost Temple, but on Python it totally is. So, Observer on the way. Because again, Spider Mines are a problem. And if there aren't any Spider Mines, then scouting with Observers is super easy and cool too. Engineering Bay on the way. Second Factory. Tank, 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 tank. Third Tank on the way. Yeah. So, I mean, we're just dealing with potentially some Dragoon pressure. Which, it's a PVT. Of course you are. So, the more tanks you have, the more safer you're going to feel. Citadel warping in from Noni as well. So, yeah. I hope everyone's having a pretty fantastic day. Again, this is going to be posted at patreon.com slash falconpaladin. About a month before it shows up on the YouTube channel. So if you're watching this the week of November the 15th, thank you so much for supporting me out here for as little as a dollar a month. Gives you access to this whole incredible epic game a month before anybody else sees it on the YouTube channel. And if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, well, check me out on patreon.com slash falconpaladin. Additionally, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I did forget to mention too that the Patreon casts are ad-free, which is a nice little bonus for some of you I know. Not everyone. I understand there are some people who don't care. All right, so what do we got? Triple Gateway, nice. Dragoon Range is done, cool. Spider Mines being researched, of course they are. Now, the nice thing about this map is you can set up tanks on the high ground and cover this area Dragoons like to come in and harass you with instead of having put, to put the tanks on the low ground and there's the threat of Dragoons coming in, focusing the tanks down and you're gonna have a bad day. Bob's your uncle, right? Leg enhancements getting researched from Noni. Everything is coming up PVT right now. Woof. Anything crazy here? No. Zero percent crazy things have happened in this game. Everything could have been predicted by anyone who saw this thumbnail and they're like, yep, yeah, okay, the PVT with Artrosis and Noni. The first seven minutes, I think, are probably going to go like this, and they did. Dragoon pressure, tanks shoved it away, tanks and vultures were produced, Dragoons and Zealots were produced, Zealots with legs, Dragoons with range, yada, 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 yada. We know PVT early game is the most standard thing in the whole world. Like, ZVZ's weird early games happen. Every other matchup, early games aren't as standardized as PVT is. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I mean, look, we do see sometimes Terran go for a one Rax expand, build a bunker at the front, and then defend against Dragoon pressure with a bunker instead of tanks, but, like, that's the only variation in the openings for PVT, right? Unless you just want to die. Oh, he killed one of his spider mines by accident? Maybe he just didn't want it as close to the tanks. So, contain being set up here. Noni's like, nah, I don't know. Bad. Bad. Run, run up there. Get him. Drag. Try to zealot bombing without the support of a shuttle here. Tank down, tank down. Don't worry about the vultures as much. Come on, Noni, kill those tanks. Noni is one of those players that made the transition to StarCraft 2 as well. So some people may know him from there and not know that he did Brood War at all. Are you? No way. Oh, wow, okay. Sure, Spider Mines helped kill that final tank. That's pretty good stuff. Vultures get in, they're like, oh, you only have zealots and probes down here? The zealots have speed, let's get on out. We're just gonna fight these dragoons with vultures. Oh, uh, Spider-Man clears it out and kills an SCV, though. I don't know if that was necessary. Seems like unnecessary collateral damage there. Ba -ba. And kapot. Alright, so the vultures are doing a great job dealing with the zealots that are being produced. Like, why aren't you producing dragoons, man? He is. He's making seven at a time right now. Actually, spider mine off! Oh, ends up killing two of his vultures there and doesn't kill the zealot. Brutal. What's we're doing? More vulture stuff. And oh, my dragoons have arrived though. Dragoons have arrived and are causing problems. So we're two base to two base at the moment. This is pretty standard Lost Temple Python stuff. Is this contain set up? Either Protoss will do it or Terran will do it. Zerg sucks at contain, but these two races love this kind of stuff. Are you really just going to engage? Good Spider Mine placements here. I mean, Artosa's playing well, I gotta say. He's really preventing Noni from easily getting a third base. I don't think he can prevent it forever, obviously. But, you know, the longer your Protoss opponent doesn't have a third, the probably the better it is for you. 
tank shows up. Spider Mind Field present. Dragoons are like, well, we do have an observer. Oh, we're just going to stand here and hold position and take tank shots, I guess. Going well? No. All right. That's the Spider Mines, even if they don't get kills, they delay the Dragoon's ability to jump on your tanks. So, I mean, if you're a Terran player and you're struggling in TVP and you're not using Spider Mines, that's the first thing. Figure it out, man. Figure it right out, Dragoons. Ah, Spider Mines connecting. Oh, boy. This is real scrap right now, isn't it? I love it. I think I maybe use that word too much during my casts, but this right here is just players with four Dragoons, two Vultures, and a Siege Tank fighting it out here. Reminds me of the early, early days of StarCraft, man. I mean, I'm talking 1999, the year 2000. Had a class that was called Tech 2000 in high school where, I don't know, the teacher didn't really do any directed learning, but like I taught myself how to do video editing in that class from VHS, by the way. Pfft, there was no digital at the time. Well, there was. You would convert VHS to digital, see? Uh, and then record it back onto VHS once you've done all the edits and stuff. Weird stuff, man. Really good. The teacher taught me none of it. It's actually kind of funny because one day, I probably told this story before too, but one day I'm sitting in French class, my senior year of high school, third base warping in from Noni. And uh, I can't remember, did I get called? I think I got called to the office by, you know, over the speaker. And they were like, you need to go to the your Tech 2000 class. And I'm like, okay. So I went and the teacher's like, so I have a student trying to figure out this video editing stuff. And you're the only one who knows how to use it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> And the thing was, it was really uh, finicky, too. Like, there were certain little things I had to figure out. Like, it wouldn't record VHS unless you did something weird and, like, made a change to the software and then changed it back, and then you could record off VHS. It wouldn't record otherwise. There were a whole bunch of dumb things that way. Like, a lot of the time, it would record with no audio output for a reason I still don't understand. Anyway, uh, the point is, in that class, we spent a lot of time watching StarCraft videos um, on different websites that exist. They'd post StarCraft clips and stuff like that. And yeah, PBT back then, there was a ton of like, I'm going to make a shuttle and two Dragoons, and I'm going to go kill you. That's what it was. It was super low econ Dragoon harassment against, usually, oh, well, against other Protoss sometimes, but against Terran too. And I was always so impressed by that. I was like, man, these guys... Koreans are amazing at StarCraft. Good times. All right, enough Falcon memory vault stuff here. But, yo, why did your Dragoons leave? Okay, so these Vultures are like, yes, unguarded zealots, let's go. Ow, ow, ow. These poor guys are just taking explosive damage to the face over and over and over again here. Dragoons are like, well, we are securing our fourth base. Thank you very much. Two basing Artosis, hanging out. This might be before Artosis was taught by Scan. That he needs three bases to be a really scary Terran player. And yes, it definitely is before that day. Because Scan didn't come around until uh, later, I think. At least he didn't start coaching Artosis until, you know, extremely recently compared to when this game was played. Buh, 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 buh. Buh, 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 buh. Vehicle plating is on the way. We're probably going to see some Arbiter stuff. Little Science Vessel play. Oh, there we go. Third base in it. 13 minutes. Our guy, Artosis, very nicely done. 50 to 49 workers in favor of Artosis. He gets a scan up to detect. Uh, what? I don't know where that scan went. That's cool. It's fine. Their group count, this army count is actually pretty scary in the middle of the map. And that's the thing. you got to be active with your vultures. But as a Virtos player, you can kind of just sit out here and wait for the vultures to show up and just rebuff them if you position them well enough. Which is what Noni is doing right here. Temple Archives is warping in. So this is a fun little Sim City thing that Noni's got. It's gateways with two pylons on the middle and then a cybernetics core at the end. It looks like kind of a spaceship. Spaceship top-down design, you know? The Vultures are trying to mess around with that fourth base. No, there's two cannons coming up. They're not allowed to do that. Etc. Etc. Oh, probe transfer executed. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, great. So yeah, remember Noni had like 50 workers. They're 33 now. Not great. Real bad, actually. You gotta. You can't just send a probe transfer across the map like this. 
and not expect for bad things to happen. Shoot! That was amazing. I don't know what Artosis is building a missile turret here for, but fun stuff anyway. Oh, it's got a got a tank in this drop. Sh oh! <laughs> he did a little tank dropper on Noni's main base too. Dude, that's why a lot of more probes died than I thought. Thirty-three probes down. Incredible stuff. Oh, sieging here. Oh, that's also very sick. And then getting the vision you need with the power of the dropship. Oh, this is so good. So I'm just going to say, Nodi's in a lot of trouble here. He's at 30, 29 workers. These vultures target firing probes real nice. 30 to 56 workers right now. Three basing our guy, Artosis. He really should be maybe getting some gas up there, but whatever. A lot of the stuff is vultures anyway. And this dropship shenaniganry, I am a fan. Big time fan of that stuff. Storm getting researched by Noni. You're going to have to hit some sick storms here to make a comeback here. That said, I don't know. He's got four bases and four nexuses with which to rebuild probes as necessary. He doesn't have a lot of money, though, because, again, he just lost, like, 20 probes. So not ideal. Artosis is in a pretty good position here at 16 minutes. He's really largely vulture-based, which I can support. Plus one attack on these guys, plus one armor. On the other side, the gateway units have no attack upgrades. Yeah, I don't know. There's no need to get something done here. There are stages in these games where sometimes I feel like the Protoss or whoever's behind needs to get something done. Good splits into three groups here. I think... He, oh man, do not face mash in here at all. Don't do it. He's sending a shuttle up to the top right, though. He's going to mess with Artosis' fourth while posturing out front and making Artosis worried about it. So he's going to unload a Zealot for scouting purposes to try to get in here. And he's like, this is a wonderland. There's only SCVs in this base. Let's go. The shuttle's like, see ya, boys. You don't have any Goliaths at all. Try oh, you're just going to stop here and taunt, I guess. So look at this guy. Like, wow, well, uh, missile turrets. Missile turrets are the problem here. Or you could... I think Noni's just letting this guy do whatever he wants. All right, so unloading a Goliath. Two Goliaths to deal with this Zealot. Pretty good uh, Goliath micro there. Not bad. Noni. Oh, going to mess with this fourth base. Well, fifth base attempts... Nope, fourth base attempt. Whoa, here we go. Coming in from all directions. Uh, closing a trap. Getting Storm in the middle of it, too. Beautiful concave set up there by Noni. That was sick. Noni's up 128 to 106 supply. And I think those three siege tanks... Oh, there's four more siege tanks supporting them. Um, yo, oh, are you just going to let this finish? I like how there's three High Templar down here. What are you going to do about this command center? Like, we don't know. Sorry, bye. We're going to get picked up and try to storm drop uh, this base. Yeah. That base is a good one to storm drop. So let this finish and then kill it, maybe? Yeah, all right. Well, forced to cancel anyway. That's just fine for Noni. And he's expanding to this 9 o'clock spawning location, too. So, yeah. Noni's done a pretty nice job of making it back here. Harassing a little bit up at that top right base. And absolutely... Man. An absolutely fantastic... Set up, flank, concave, whatever you want to call that maneuver from Noni. And that's not easy to do either, right? That is extremely difficult to do because you only control 12 units in Brood War. And that was way more than 12 units. And putting them in their different control groups and positioning them. And they're Dragoons. So, like, that's not working out. What the? Spider Mine just killed something. I heard it. Did he really try to shuttle up there and get some stuff done? It's 55 workers for Artosis. He seems okay. God, I don't... I gotta... I gotta do it. I don't like doing this, but I'm gonna rewind it. Because that sounded like a spider mine killing a High Templar. This guy. Yeah, this is what I thought would happen. He moves in, he takes missile turret shots, he backs out. Okay, 
Known is up 149 to 119 supply. He's down nine workers, but I think he's okay with that. Wow, okay, so then the shuttle decides it's time to move back on in, I guess. Is he get, like, you can't unload up here, right? There's too many doodads on the top of this. No unload spots available. And if the Terran doesn't have... I think he... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just unloads on these spider mines and dies. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even get a storm off. The animation started to get a storm off, and then nope, spider mines, blah. That's why you put spider mines in your own bases, for drops and for recalls especially. More shuttles coming in here from Noni. The special tactics attempt was nothing. It was obliterated, not even close. Observer making sure that Artosis doesn't try to sneak a new base down this right side. Yo. So yeah, I guess well, not much is happening here. Quick plug as well. You can join the channel, become a member that way for a couple bucks a month. If you'd rather support me here on YouTube instead of on Patreon, which I know some people don't like Patreon. Additionally, you can just hit me up at PayPal at falconpaladin at gmail.com. That's my PayPal address for one-time donations that are not regimented, that do not reoccur every single month. I know a lot of pe you people like to do those too because it's just a, uh, a one-time donation and you don't have to worry about it again. Some people have been very generous there as well. So, all right. Artosa says it's time to go. 193 to 153 total supply. Noni's up. He's maxed out now. Artosis has got a big mineral bank. Not as big of a gas bank, though, which uh, tracks, considering how many tanks he's produced. So still 1-1 one, one for the mech. Uh, no upgrades here for the Protoss. He's working on plus one, plus one. Fairly close to finishing on that attack upgrade, yes. And then expanding down here, too, with a dropship watching the whole gosh darn thing. Artosis maybe forgot about that dropship. I don't know. But Artosis moving out. He's got three bases. He's feeling strong. He's feeling very strong. Bit of an Archon play here, too. Not Archon's not great in this matchup. They can absorb a bunch of damage, but dealing it is just not... They, not great. Not great for them. See, so watch how fast this Archon dies. <laughs> because shields take full damage from everything. So Vultures are like, yes! We're not at a disadvantage here. Dragoons, however, bad. That's why you have the tank support. The synergy of the Vulture tank has been seen for all time and all eternity. And look at they're just absolutely bullying that poor Archon. Get out of here. Where's the reed? Why are you sending your whole army up this way when this is happening, Noni? It's not even map awareness. He's getting his stuff killed right now. And he's like, Rawr, I will kill all that. There's what there was an engineering bay to kill up here, dude. Artosis could maybe make a solid push over here. He's just kind of trying to hold the middle of the map. But he's brought these tanks down, leapfrogged them, put them here. I think he's worried about Noni. He's like, where is Noni? I thought for sure he'd come back and try to kill me by now, but instead, he, he's still got a bunch of Dragoons stuck up here because, again, Dragoon pathing is dumb. Oh, well, this, yeah, this third base of Noni, Sayanora. Thank you for coming. You're very dead. Noni says, well, uh, shoot. This is not, I don't know why I sent my whole army up there. I'm not kidding. So we're going to maybe try to take the middle here, Nexus down. Not that Noni really cares. And yeah, see, this is his setup. I thought this looked deliberate. This little Sim City setup. He's doing the same thing over here on the left side. Except without a cyber core, because he doesn't need one of those, because he already has one. And he's not making carriers at all. This really seems to be more of a traditional uh, ground army style thing. So Noni says, all right, I haven't done this today. Let's try to bust the front of Artosis. Force him to come back, and he is. He's bringing some vultures back. The tanks are coming back home as well. Uh, Noni might end up getting surrounded a bit here, left side and right side, but right side doesn't have much going for it. Right side's like seven vultures and some spider mines. The left side has the muscle. That's where the tanks are. Looking great, by the way. Storming up, siege tanks, getting some shots, and then Noni says, well, you sieged up. I will continue forward, thanks. Look at this setup, too. Loving that. Reinforcements really can't get there. From the main base or the natural. That's awesome stuff. Tanks firing. Is there enough to bust it? I don't know. The natural command center is probably going to go down. And Noni's like, every time you seed, I just go the other way. That's what I've been programmed to do. SCVs retreating. And some of them might escape. Yes. No. He was almost out of the range. Not quite there. Command center down. A nexus for a command center. Says Noni. Blood for blood. 
and this whole army is going to die. They know it, but they bought some time. They killed some SCVs. Stop worrying about the vultures. Just focus the tanks, but I don't think it really matters. Everybody dead. 134 to 139 supply. Artosis floating some money here. He is producing five vultures and like four, three or four tanks at a time. But we are not... We're not doing super hot on places to expand anymore, are we, guys? We're 24 minutes into this thing, the top left base. Going to be expanded to by Noni. And he's like, well, I should probably put some army in that general area just in case. Yeah, I'm serious. Like, this little leapfrog shenanigans. This could turn into a situation. We haven't seen this in a while. Where the Terran just ends up straight up killing the Protoss main. They're used to it, right? They know what it's all about. They're just going to go ahead and lose the main. And that's why they set up all these gateways at their other home, their summer home. In preparation for that eventuality. And, oh, the tanks aren't sieged. Okay, now the tanks are sieged. Dragoons splitting themselves quite nicely. Again, Noni capable of pretty great control. Really good storms there, too. That was just, mm, that was a magnifique, magnifique engagement there. So, Artosis did manage to retake the bottom right-hand base. Observer or no observer, plus he's got it covered with spider mines and all this army. Uh, getting there through the ground is going to be really tough stuff. Noni again, positioning top side, left side, going for a bit of a sneak -a rooney here. Storms on the tanks are just placed beautifully to soften them up for ex execution by zealots. The High Templar died, though they didn't have to. I think if they'd run, maybe they could have pulled it off, but I guess siege tank range is pretty scary stuff. Mmm, Noni sneaking in through here. He clears out part of the barrier, protecting this bottom right-hand base, and he's going to wipe it out. Meanwhile, his top left base going fairly well. All these SCVs are probably going to die. Noni's up 65 to 46 workers. Wow. That's pretty impressive stuff. So, yeah, none of these SCVs are escaping, I got to say. Fairly, fairly sure that's what we're looking at here. He, oh, no, no, no. Some of them, some of them do. Because Artosis brings some tanks over. Unsieged siege tanks. Spider mines! Killing tanks and zealots. Yeah, kite, kite. Pull back. Bring friends. And that's right. Kill dragoons together. That's what friendships are made of. Artosis taking the 12 o'clock after his bottom right base has been ravaged a bit and he's not too comfortable with it. But either way, just take every base on the map. This is a long macro game. Noni's taking the bottom left corner. It's minerals only down here. Oh, no, no, just come a liar. There's gas down there. That's what the warping in sound was. 133 to 129 total supply. Again, these are North American heroes. This isn't Korean level stuff. But, you know, it's fun. It's fun stuff anyway. StarCraft is StarCraft. And I honestly think the skill level of North American pros is as good it's very fun. It's very fun to cast. They're very good. They're better than anybody watching this right now. And that's all that matters. The vultures are like, hey, how about this, cannon? <laughs> There's enough of us to take you down with our plus two attack. No, these probes are dying. Big time pickup here from Artosis. Absolutely evening out that worker count as best he can. It's still 64 to 46 workers, though. Ortos is not really replacing the SCVs that have died. He's got a few down here he needs to put to work. But you know, even Flash has idle SCVs from time to time. Trying to save the top left of Ace is going to be a difficult deal because, well, there be spider mines here, obviously. Come on, Artosis. Put the SCVs to work. You could do it. I know you're trying to... Oh, he did focus down the Nexus with Vultures, which is rough to do. Look at these Vultures. They're just like, nah... You're not going to kill us. Bye. And we're going to lay some fire mines down. Delay. Maybe try to execute a couple of you Archons. As long as you're here. That's right. Archon down. Archon down. Beautiful. Yeah. Archons not nearly as good here as they are against Zerg. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Archons are so scary against Zerg. Artosis needs to put... He's got a bunch of idle SCVs. He needs to put them up here. He's got drop chips. He's trying... He's trying to put his SCVs to work in positions. There we go. Finally saturating his bottom right-hand base. All of these SCVs really need to be put up here. So base count to base count. Ugh. We split the map in half? That's not good for the Protoss. Not good in the long run at all. EMP getting researched. Hey, at 28 minutes. We've got Noni just producing Dragoons. No Arbiter play from him yet. But, I mean, 
The knight is young. He could throw up a Stargate at any moment except now because he doesn't have enough money for a Stargate. Yeah, without stasis, it's kind of hard mode here for Noni, isn't it? I think that's fair to say. Hmm. All right. Well, what do we got here? Noni going to make a good engagement against, again, a Vulture army who is bait. They're going to pull you back to the tanks with their plus two attack and plus two armor. Plus two attack and plus one armor is done for Noni. Are we really going to try this again? All right, man. Try to get some storms on up. The siege tank spread is gorgeous from Artosis, though. Not nearly enough zealots to do this, and you're just going to donate a bunch of High Templar. Sure, some tanks died there, but I don't think that was worth. High Templar are 150 gas apiece. That is a ton of gas. That is an expensive unit. He just like six of them died there. For what? Three, four, five tanks? Good grief. Good grief and grief. All right, another command center coming in. Artosis is going to take the final base. Nah, this one hasn't been taken yet. The almost last base to be taken here. Scanning all over the place is Artosis, recognizing, okay, I don't see any Stargates anywhere. That is something you want to keep an eye on. If you're a Terran player, are there any Stargates? Because if there are, going to start making those Goliaths, don't you? Again, real surprised. No Arbiter play from Noni at all. I think he's playing very well otherwise. Obviously, the Spellcaster play has been pretty great. Maybe he just prefers his gas be spent on storms rather than stasis. And I can definitely see an ideological reason to do that. We kind of have to choose, right? It's a lot of High Templar, or it's a lot of Arbiters, or it's some of both. Not a terrible thing. Observer gets sniped. Beautiful control there from Artosis, sniping that OBS. And then, yeah, just kind of dodging storms as best as he can. Artosis heading top left. Newest sources of income on the table to kill this top left base again. Is what Artosis is trying. Takes high ground. Sieges up. Needs two. Command center's not done to expand to this 11 o'clock position. The 12 o'clock natural location. But yeah, we're at 30 minutes and nobody has a big bank. And we're kind of running out of places to mine right now. It is interesting that he's just kind of let this one go that Noni has, right? There's literally... Oh, well, maybe he's not anymore. I'm going to say there's really only a spider minefield between him and killing that base. Spider mines, zealots dragging their bodies through the minefields to clear them out so dragoons don't die. Zealots are basically free. Kill all of these. He killed two. Ow, not great. Well, two dragoons made it through. Top left base dies to siege tank pressure. Noni does nothing to defend it at all, and I was going to try to harass with two Dragoons, which isn't a whole lot, turns out, but uh, he's producing more seven High Templar at a time. He really believes in the power of the High Templar, doesn't he? Also, Artosis should probably be fighting with his SCVs in this battle, or just, you know, wait a little bit of time for a plus two Vultures to show up. He's like, hey, spider mine me in here. Ah, oh, no, good, great control there. Pulling those SCVs away from the spider mines in case they do trigger on the Dragoons and explode here. The, the SCVs will be over here. That's nice. That's really good stuff from Martosis. Really high level play. Okay. We got Archons, which we've established are not doing well in this game. Dragoons, which are doing great. And High Templar, which are doing great, but also just kind of dying to tanks more than they probably should. So... Based on the base count total here, I gotta say, Artosis has the upper hand here at 32 minutes in this match. I'm looking at it. It feels like that's where we are. Yeah, man, these Archons just dying. But, you know, if you outnumber the tanks, like, 15 units to 2, you'll be fine. That tank's got 3 kills, 1 kill, 10 kills on that siege tank. And actually, coming up the back side a little bit. Ooh, I think a science vessel just got sniped. I heard that sound. Yeah, Artosa says, why don't you go up there? That sounds great. And Noni's like, I don't... How about... How about I just engage with you here, sir? And that's what he's doing, man. Zealots on the low ground. Dragoons fighting from the top side. Stutter stepping in. Archons in the front. The, the zealot count is not great. And there are still some vultures here. But it looks like... all oh, these tanks, man. When it's just Dragoons left, it's so hard to be like, well, how many Dragoons will be left after this battle? And the answer is a handful. Okay, like 
four, actually. And by the way, not all the tanks are dead. Uh, but, okay, got him. But every Dragoon paid the price for that one. Dude, just body blocking that Dragoon in there. 151 to 109 supply in favor of Artosis here. Again, him having this bottom right base, him having these two top bases, and denying Noni's top left is massive. Is a huge deal right now for Artosis. He's feeling good. He's up 30 supply. Really no complaints from him at all. Sending Zealots up to clear these tanks. Again, that's a 10 kill siege tank. He dead now. And so is his friend. Vultures pressuring the front of this left side. Storms and Zealots and Dragoons enough to make sure that doesn't happen. Artosis floating some minerals here. Again, kind of having a hard time really making sure all of his factories are building at once. He's got the 200 supply. That's not a problem. It's just the macro kind of slowing down a little bit here for him, which might give Noni a bit of an avenue to come back because he, uh, he was down big. Now he's only down about 10 supply. So it probes long distance mining from this base, which died so long ago and is probably worth retaking. Not by a lot. And maybe that's what the long distance mining is all about. Center, again, taking the center of this map is hard. It's a big center, but just kind of hanging out in the middle here. Just enough to prevent Noni from walking across there without uh, too much trouble. Sniping High Templar, baby! Yes, Vultures. <laughs> oh, real nice. Again, Artosis is doing some very nice, very nice small things here today that has really helped him to get to the lead that he's at right now. Noni retaking the top left-hand base. Yo, have I mentioned hitting the like button? This game is bonkers. This has been really good stuff. Another High Templar down. Noni is not babysitting his casters very well. In fairness, they're slow. Casters, the High Templar are slow. They float. That might be part of what is slowing them down. I don't know. But, yo, yeah, when the map is split in half like this, it's Terran favored. That's what this matchup is. With even income, Terran should win this thing. I don't know, 85, 90% of a time? Mm, here we go again, Noni says, engaging into sieged tanks. What else is new in my life today? Let's do this for the 10th time. And yeah, tanks down, tanks down. But once again, Artosis is macro. He's got reinforcements coming up here as best he can, but just kind of getting steamrolled, actually. Not great. That said, a lot of Protoss is dying. It's 140 to 130 supply. Noni takes the overall supply lead with that battle. And he's on a rampage. Let's go. Let's maybe try... Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff here from Artosis. I know high ground tanks, though. And these tanks aren't siege. They're moving away. They're pulling back. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, spider mines. Vultures. Spider mines doing their best to delay. But, man, alive. Here comes our guy, Noni. He's losing Dragoons. He's got three attack and three armor. It is three attack for Artosis, but only the one, uh, one, two armor, something like that, two armor. And again, coming up this ramp is going to be a very difficult thing to manage. 125 to 116 supply here. Noni has busted out. He's done some damage. However, this is not an alive base. He needs to kill alive bases, and that's why he's heading to the bottom right. To wipe out this relatively newer source of income for Artosis is not as new as the top side bases. But it's pretty close. Ooh, a probe transfer. A naked probe transfer made it all the way to the top left for Noni. That's what you get when you put pressure on your opponent when you do the probe transfer. It works out better for you in the end. Come on. Let's go. SCVs fleeing for their lives. Some of them make it out, but the command center is going to die along with that commsat station. So, kind of a big deal. What do we got? 145 to 134 supply in favor of Noni, but all of that is probes. Army value basically even. Noni has a worker count lead right now, which is kind of nuts considering how this game has gone so far. Yo! 38 minutes into this match, we are still rocking and rolling. And Noni's desperate enough to take this third base that was killed and is actually going to die again for the second time today. Yeah. He's like, look. I need this. Uh, the minerals are evaporating for me all over the place here at the 38-40 minute mark. And actually saving the Nexus, that's big. I thought that was going to go a lot worse. Handful of Dragoons fighting on in here. 
The Vultures come around to clear them out, no problem whatsoever. Bottom right, maybe going to be a big, important source of minerals for somebody sooner or later in this game. Artosis needs to make some decisions. Does he want to defend? Does he want to retake this bottom right? Does he want to kill the top left? I do feel like killing the top left is probably a win condition here for Artosis. One of a few, like one of many that are available. Vultures trying to pressure in. Handful of tanks here. Not ten, not, you know, it's only about six. But it's really not that many Dragoons here either. 170 to 141 supply. Artosis has skyrocketed into the lead right now. And all of that is army value. Some excellent macro from him over the last minute or so. And he's like, yeah, you want to flee? I'll just kill your Nexus down. It's already on fire. Maybe? Did we? Yeah, he's kind of creeping ever closer. Killing probes as they try to come up to the third base. Noni's like, can I engage? I don't He doesn't. He's fleeing. He's letting this thing die. Just leaving this probe to die too. I'm not going to do any work to keep it alive. Ka-chow. Nexus up. Well, okay. Noni says, hey, remember what I said about newest bases of income? Let's go. So he heads right up to the 12 o'clock base. Whatever this is. 11 and 12 o'clock bases. The Vultures can get here first. But again, not greatest fighters against Dragoons. Also pretty vulnerable to psionic storms, which are just blanketing them now, too. Buying some time. Trying to sell it's coming up this ramp. Get into that mineral line. Send the Archon into the mineral line. That's how you're going to do this thing. These dragons are just holding the front door like, please, kill as many SCVs as you can. Don't lie, dragoons. This is a straight up siege. Yes, get out. Get on out. Maybe either focus the command center. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Drop ship focused. I'm fine with that. Yeah, forcing a lift off here to Noni. Doing some serious damage right now to that worker count. Does actually manage to repair the command center and save it. Zealot's coming down to try to kill these tanks, but there's enough vultures to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, uh, tank is alive with all of four kills. Helping immensely. SCVs are fighting. Eh, but the Protoss with more storm coming through Noni. Absolutely wrecking the worker count right now. 25 workers for Artosis. Two of his bases are in shambles. The bottom right base is being retaken. That might work out for him in the long run. A Vulture is here to clear out what is barely left right now. 17 kill Archon. Probably some of those kills came when he was too high Templar previously. But man, 119 to 90 supply. Noni has really flipped it now. He was down big time, flipped it so he was barely ahead. Now he's pretty significantly ahead. Artosis under 100 total supply, not where he wants to be at all. Dragoons 313 upgrades. The mech upgrades are just sitting at 32, not bothering with plus 3 armor. I don't know if there are some math reasons for that. Maybe there are. Observer, check it out what we're dealing with up here. Sees a missile turret being built for this very purpose. Says, okay, spider minefield plus vultures plus tanks going to be hard to bust. The, man, this game has had so many spider mines late. Artosis has been constantly very good with them. Choosing good locations for them, too. Not just throwing them wherever he wants. The storms today! Cloudy with a chance of psionic storms. Beautifully still has a few vultures remaining. But the tanks are going to die. And that means the vultures are dead. And it's a 119. 78 supply here for Artosis. Tanks on the backside. How many times have we seen that today? Artosis is like, uh, you are doing some attack. Bam! Surprise flank attack from the other side. Zealots running in. Don't. Nope, that's not what they want to do at all. SCV count continuing to get plummeted. That's not how you use that word. Just getting ravaged by the Protoss. And then, I don't know, go up into that. Okay, this is fine and this is bad. You're going to lose all of your stuff here with this battle. Just a thought. Refinery is going to die. Small victory. And by that, I mean it's on fire, but it's not dead yet. Okay, now it is. <laughs> Production tab says six Dragoons at a time. Noni says if I can crush through here, I could kill this base. And then Artosis won't have much going on, except he's retaken that bottom right, as I keep mentioning. This is crazy stuff. The Vulture play from Artosis today has been so good. Just constantly dropping spider mines. Good storms on those spider mines, though, so they don't connect with much of anything at all. That tank gets wiped out. And then Noni says, all right, more challengers. Just kidding. 
Those are sieged siege tanks. Back it out. Go up the ramp, maybe. Going up the ramp would be cool. It's slow for the Terran to get up the ramp. Noni just <laughs> building four Dragoons and two Zealots at a time and running them in here. And yes, these tanks are all going to die. And by that, I mean two of them will retreat. One of them gets out of there, but does he get focused? He does get focused because of course he does. More spider mines getting laid. These vultures are like, we're not useless against you dragoons, lest you forget. Artosis does have this low ground third base mineral only location that he's now mining from. So every base on the map has been taken. Are they currently occupied? Not necessarily. 99 to 70 supply. This has been as much of a knockdown drag them out PVT as I have seen in a long time on the channel. Insanely knocked down drag him out. I don't know if this is going to break records for the number of units that have died. I mean, Zerg... Zerg games usually have that record because Zerglings count as two. And they're cheap, and usually you get a lot of those. High Templar sniped. Storm trying to avenge his own death there. That poor High Templar. Command center down. So, I feel like... Nexus have been killed today, just this one a couple times, but the number of command centers that have died today feels a lot more. This one's died, this one's died, this one's died, this one's probably going to die. Dragoon pathing again, ultimately very terrible. Noni's already fought against this ramp before today. But Artosis, dude, more SCVs are going to die. He keeps replacing the ones that are leaving this mortal coil, but he's back down to 22... Not what he wants. This command center's like, flee. Flee as your life depends upon it. Because it does. A dropship on the way from Artosis. Interesting choice here at 45 minutes. Vultures throwing down more spider minefields just on the left general area. Three cannons defending the top left base this time. Is that enough to save it from this number of vultures? I feel like it is. This isn't as many vultures as last time, and it's more cannons. So I don't know if they should do that. Noni says, all right, I'm going to expand to this base now. Or maybe this base now. It's mine. Artosis, if he didn't have this base, I think he'd be dead already. And Noni would do well to go harass it a little bit. Send some zealots down there, man. It's a pretty clear shot. Not that he knows that right now. And that's the thing. There could be spider mines everywhere all the time. So you really don't want to just send your zealots in a beeline down to this bottom right corner because what if there are 75, 75 spider mines right here? They'd all die. And sure, they'd clear out the spider mines, but then you just ran zealots in there for no reason, right? It's not the reason you intended. Anyway, it reminds me of a Y-Wing, right? You got the two nacelles out here and the front. I guess saying nacelle makes me feel like it's... Nah, it's not the Stark. Not the Enterprise. Definitely more of a Y-Wing setup here. I bet Noni likes Star Wars. I bet that's intentional. Although this one's different, right? Yeah, he built this. Yeah, it was this. And then he built a gateway here. This feels more like Y-Wing. Anyway, I am distracted. This little tank drop attempt does get spotted by Noni. And he's like, oh, nah, man. How about you don't do that? Vulture's trying to harass beautiful storms. Bad position. For those vultures to engage in, definitely. So trying to distract a little bit so that this tank drop can maybe get up here and wipe out this top left base, I think was the intent, but pulling back home to safer locations where there's more blue. 113 to 63 supply. Noni is up. Here at 47 minutes. This top left base is huge for him. The bottom right base is mining out for Artosis. Artosis has lost three very crucial bases at the top side of this map right now. Not looking good for him. Noni transferring a bunch of probes over to this 11 o'clock base, which he has taken for his own now. He's double the supply of Artosis, 121 to 63. Vultures continuing to just, oh, here we go. Here we go. He's shuttling tanks and vultures to the high ground to try to harass this base of Noni's. I love that play for him. How are the minerals doing in the bottom right? 200, 170, 150, 200. They'll be there for a minute. Not going to last for very much longer, though. Is this Dragoon checking to see if this is happening? He's like, hey, by the way, is anything up here? And the answer is C. Si. Si, senor. There is, uh, there are vultures and tanks down here. 
134 to 69 supply. Artosis' money is low. Noni's money is low. And here we go. Vultures. Oh my gosh. But Dragoon's in the general area. So sieging it up. And then he's going to put tanks up here. And then the spider mines slow down the assault. But Noni says, no, we got to break this. We can't allow this to happen. He's just absolutely forcing his Dragoons to go up this ramp, which has been his nemesis today. The tanks are set far enough back that the uh, High Templar can't get storms off on him. This is a great trade for Artosis. Nobody's going to be able to wipe it out. But I don't think... Wow, that's a lot of dead Protoss. A ton of Dragoons died here. These guys are taking hits from the low ground as well. as Storm from three inches away on that High Templar. The tanks all die. 111 to 61 supply. So it's a slightly better position here for Artosis, but not much improved. He lost a lot of stuff there for sure. Plus, he's going to lose this factory, which I'm not sure he needs it right now, considering his income isn't exactly on fire. Yeah, look, 50 minerals left on this mineral patch. That's it, man. That is the mineral income for Artosis right now. He needs to make something happen. He's got to kill this base. This is the key situation here. Noni, again, as he's done all day, has had no problem engaging directly into sieged up siege tanks. And this time, I don't know if it's going well. High Templar come on up to Storm, but nope. No storms for you. And suddenly, it's only 67 to 47 supply. Artosis wrecked in that engagement. He's now only down, well, like 30 supply instead of, you know, 60 like he was just a minute ago. Like I said, this space for Noni is key to Noni's attempts to win this game. And it, these probes are dying. He's got 54 probes, but a lot of them are here. They're going to die. What is going? Where is the stuff for Noni right now? He's producing nine High Templar at a time. I don't know if I've ever seen a Protoss player build this many High Templar in a single game. It's honestly incredible how much Noni is loving his High Templar today. It's 21 to 40 workers, but, you know, having SCVs doesn't do much for you if you don't have anything to mine with them. Same thing for the probe situation, right? There's nothing up here. There's 28 minerals and 68 minerals on those patches. Dragoons trying to clear out the spider minefield. Not necessarily ready to engage with the main army yet, obviously. But Artosis, is he floating? He's floating a command center over. He's bringing a conga line of SCVs over to... Conga, conga, conga. Conga, conga, conga. Nice. So they make it up here safely. The Protoss really wasn't in a position to deal with that negatively anyway. Assimilator Den Artosis has totally retaken the economic lead here. Unless this gets busted into, again, high ground siege tanks concerning. Noni says, yeah, I don't, I don't like that very much at all. Good snipe on that High Templar. Artosis has done such a good job sniping High Templar today. In fairness, he's had a million opportunities to do so. Because there have been 87,000 High Templar built. But still, a lot of High Templar have died to Vulture Grenade Attacks. That's what it is. Fragmentation Grenade Attacks. Like, hats off. Hats off here to Ortosis for that one. And he's mining again. That wasn't too long. He stopped mining here. And he was able to start mining here within about a minute or two. Which is not bad at all. High Templar wandering into tank range for... Getting a storm off reasons and then dying. He didn't even kill the tank. Yo. I got our Oh, free High Templar there. Dude, is Artosis going to win this game? I mean, this is the most coveted position on the map right now. Is this 11 o'clock spot? It might switch owners for the third time today if Noni can bust through here. But again, the high ground tanks. Problematic. Another High Templar. Just a assassinated in full daylight. Is that enough? The repair was good. Oh, not enough. The tank is down, but another High Templar dies for it. Worth? I don't know. I don't know, man. Ugh. So, Noni's income is nil. That's it. He's got 17 minerals. He needs to bust this if he's going to win this game. And he's doing it. He's coming up this way. The SCVs are here to mess with the pathing of that Archon. The Archons should be chewing through those SCVs, but their pathing is dumb. They get some high ground vision. Tank down. Tank down. Vultures joining the party. High Templar storming and then turning into Archons. Spider Mines killing a Dragoon. 
but there's one tank there's factories blocking the access to this base right now dragoons trying to get up here no the siege tank says absolutely not the scv say no absolutely not the tank is no oh, the tank is down the archons are here has no need done this all he's got are three dragoons and a couple archons the scvs are no match for the power of the archon it's six scvs remaining these factories are getting massacred artosis has no money left and no source of income he could try long distance mining from this base with the six scvs he has remaining wherever they are i think some of them yep mining gas in that top right base i suppose he could maybe set up a base here too but look at this noni only has wait noni has 17 minerals artosis has 54 I'm not sure if i said that backwards or not but either way long distance mining these probes how many workers have died traversing across the middle of the map here undefended today and guess what more of them are going to die artosis has discovered the long distance mining path here the parade of probes it's gonna snipe more of them noni's just trying to get enough money to make a nexus not working out super well for him is it no more probes trying to long distance mining down to the south at the third base this was the third base taken in this game for noni and it still has minerals at it that's how insane this game has been so far it's 22 to 53 total supply noni has the bigger army but a lot of that supply is probes which is not good fighters if all your enemy has literally is vultures which is all he has artosis has vultures now he has no other income <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I don't think he can win this with just vultures. He's got seven vultures here with three three upgrades. This I think they've all dumped. No, some of them still have spider mines left. Actually, a bunch of them have spider mines left. And look at this game sense. He's like, yeah, Noni, you're gonna send some more probes this way, aren't you? Pow, 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 pow. It's an ambush. Oh. This game. This game. In control was not wrong at calling this game epic and artosis is sneaking a command center here but the observer detects it and the command center is gonna die and three of the six scvs that exist in this game are here and they're running their little buns off trying to get out and they do are there any command centers left for artosis if this one dies the answer seems to be no that's your game right that's gotta be it god these vultures are still maybe if the vultures are like can we kill every single probe on the map and then noni can't get any more money and then the larger problem here is that shields regenerate and hp on vultures doesn't i do not see a path out of this game for artosis it would take some of the sickest okay free high templar though he did take an Archon shot, but killing a High Templar counts. Dude, Noni, he can't long distance mine. Look at this, Artosis. Wait, long distance mining. Oh, this command center lives. This CC is alive. Probes hunting, well, getting hunted again. Still 25 remaining for Noni, though. That seems ample for him to win this game. Having 25 seems good, but that number does not continue to go up today at all three high i mean noni what else is noni gonna build at this stage of the game obviously more high templar to get sniped by these vultures which my gosh so many probes have died at 23 oh, lost a vulture okay that's fine that's fine <laughs> six vultures remain in varying states of disrepair one of them has all of his hp he's very happy about that both players i think are long distance mining from this base which is hilarious and yeah, there's a command center down here. This one died. I don't know where it came from. Was it built on location? Probably not, considering the income problems that Artosis has had this game. There's just no way that Artosis wins this thing. There's not. I'm looking at it. I'm staring at it. I mean, Archons are like the best spider mine clearing units in the game because they float and don't trigger spider mines. It's pretty good stuff. Vultures are fast, though. They're faster than the Dragoons. They're faster than... The Archons, they're faster than speed lots. So I guess, yeah, he's making High Templar for Archons. He's not making it for Storm today. <sighs> but remember what we've seen? Oh my gosh. Another dead probe. Another dead probe. Two more dead probes. 18 probes remaining. <laughs> 
If you haven't hit the like button on this match, I don't know when you're ever going to hit a like button on my channel. That's that's what this comes down to. This has been amazing. 40 to 20 total supply. Spider minefields are getting cleared with ease. Oh, free high Templar. <laughs> Oh, storm killed one. Oh, they went back through the storm. That's not good. Four vultures remain. Artosis is refusing to die with all of his, all of his Terran heart right now. Dude, what a great Patreon cast this is. Again, if you're watching this and you're a patron, thank you so much for supporting me. I love you guys. The... <laughs> Again, I don't see a way that Artosis can win this game. I mean, maybe... I was going to say, maybe some beautiful spider mine micro. Like, the sickest spider mine micro. There's still spider mine there. That one doesn't have one. There's two, two. Two, two, one, and zero on the spider mine count. No, and he's like, well, like, I mean, you just keep running away from me, so I'll just kill your whole base. So we'll be here for a while. And her dosis is lifting. <laughs> this game is amazing. Look at this. Friends, SCV and Pro mining from the same mineral patches, not fighting, just both going their own ways here. Where the heck are these 18 probes of Noni? And I guess they're all just sitting down here. I don't know, send them out, man. Oh, the SCV snitched. He snitched on his probe buddy. I guess you just don't send them out because the vultures are sharking around so hard. It just seems like a really bad idea to do that. La 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 la. 17 and 20 kill Archon. A lot of those are spider mines. I'm not sure if they're impressive or not. Observer being pretty active. Really, all that matters here are these vultures? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's using what little money he has to repair his vultures at one hour and one minute. Not a lot of repair, but it's some repair. I guess we didn't bother with the guy who has 5 HP. He's too far gone. Wait, just kidding. More repairing? More repairing! Yay! Get this guy. Come on. I, yes, he's getting the mining. Oh, and he made a science vessel. Wait, did you remember he had a science vessel and he had it the whole time? Dude, EMPs on the Archons and I guess the Dragoons. This? That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. The vultures are in position. It's going to EMP the Archons, but no. They pull away from the edge, so the vultures can't hit them. Landed factory. Kaput. Ooh. This Dragoon could just straight up die. Being careful. Using that singularity charge to great effect. It's a 17 kill Dragoon, by the way. 14 kill Dragoon here. Uh, big hit on the science vessel. Ooh, EMP missed! No! The EMP missed for Artosas! Now he has to be like, okay, I uh, gotta wait for more energy. Hold on. Hold on for more energy for an EMP. Be right back, he says. Free factory. Green tea taps out.
Okay, here we go. Let's do this thing. Ah! Wait! Oh, okay, just an engineering bay taking hits. That's fine. If these guys are alone and they get EMP'd and the vultures can kill them... SCV's running! Running! Oh, no! And if the command center dies, this is forcing Artosis's hand! He has to get in here! He has to get the sickest EMP of all time! Can he do it? Bam! EMP down! Archon down! Archon down! Vultures pulling back! Two SCVs remaining! Command center is alive! Taking hits, which is not good at all! This is bananas epic! Okay, okay. So the vultures are like, could we? Any spider mines left on us? Yes, one spider mine left. On the four. This command center dying is the end of it. You have to go. You have to go. You have to go and save the command center. But no! They killed the CC, but if these dragoons die... No, no my gosh! No, the dragoon is fighting! He's focused... No! The final dragoon is down! Is that it? Is that all that's left here for Noni? Noni's down to 19 total supply. I think that's his observer that's remaining. His command center died, though. But all he's got... All he's got... All he's got are these vultures. There's only probes remaining. Can the probes kill these vultures? The, Noni doesn't have enough money for anything else right now. He's not long-distance mining to be able to produce anything else right now. There are no command centers left for Artosis. He can't gather any more than the 42 minerals he has right now. He's going to mine here anyway. Where are you going? Is there a command center somewhere that I've completely missed? Nope. They mined and sat there because they know what's up. <laughs> Artosis sitting here next to his factory being like, So, uh, can... Is this a draw? Can vultures kill cannons? Dude, they can't. They can't kill these cannons. The cannons outrange them. You can't get rep Is this a draw? This has got to be a draw. Holy crap. When's the last time you saw a draw on this channel? I mean, okay. Technically... Nope, oh, that's it. That's it. Wait, who? What? What? Wait, hold on, hold on. Technically, there's a world where Noni could long distance mine enough to make a Dragoon or something. So, I take it back. I don't think that's a draw at all. Although, these vultures can just camp. The vultures camping here... Detection being provided by the spider mine and these two SCVs? Yeah, I think the vultures just come down here. Pick off probes. Every probe that comes out here for Noni dies. They can't get any long distance mining done. I think that's a draw. I don't think we're officially at the draw just because there's a possibility of Artosis completely screwing this up and not killing these probes as they come out from hiding. Actually, can these guys even get out? Is there a shuttle? Oh my gosh, they can't. Okay, there's not a shuttle on the field. I think, yeah, that two supplies and obs. Yep, there it is. So 17 probes, 19 total supply. That's an observer. So these guys are stuck. They can't help. I didn't even realize that. So yeah, it's just these two probes. These two probes, long distance mining enough to make a Dragoon. Right? I think a Dragoon would probably be enough to win this game. But that's that's a lot of minerals. That's a bunch of trips. And the vision is here. And I th think Artosis kills them and then it's a draw. Once these probes are dead, that's it. We're done. These guys can't get out. The vultures can't kill the cannons. Draw. Draw. It's a, like two steps removed from a draw, but I think it's a draw. Oh. <laughs> Not long you get an hour and six minute long match on the channel either, is it? Not at all. That was, man, that was something. I've never seen that many High Templar in my life. I've just, I've never, no Arbiters, I mean, no Carriers, which isn't insane. 
But no Arbiter play today. Just nothing but High Templar and Storm and Dragoons and Zealots, man, with Ob support and Archons, too. The battle for this top side was legendary. And it just ended up in a draw. Crazy. Crazy game. 458,000 points for Noni. 424,000 for Martosis. Uh, units, 968 units killed by Noni today. In APVT, 1,081 units were produced today by Artosis. That's Zerg numbers. Zerg numbers from him. And it makes sense. He was macroing his heart out. Total buildings raised, 74 to 17. And resources, 114,000 total spent by Noni. Only 87,000 spent by Artosis. Mech is cost efficient. And I guess in an hour and six long minute game, this is uh, it. This is it. If you want to draw. <laughs> the math has been figured out. <laughs> oh, it was so good. I don't know. A draw feels a little unsatisfying, but we haven't had a draw in so long. It doesn't matter. Insane. Absolutely insanely good game from both players. Was it perfectly played by anyone? No. But as Artosis himself has said, he who makes the fewest mistakes wins. GG. Wow. So that right there is going to be it for me today. This is Ben, Falcon Paladin, coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.